We build diagnostic menstrual pads, enabling regular health monitoring and early diagnostics for women. So essentially it's basically a menstrual pad that collects a specific volume of blood and then that sample is sort of useful in detecting different diseases. You can absolutely think of it similar to 23andMe, the difference being that we monitor biomarkers that changes over time with your diet, your health condition, your health goals, like these things. So we'll be we can monitor sort of biomarkers in blood, right? Whereas 23andMe is kind of more of a one-time thing because they're looking at DNA. But it's a similar concept. Menstrual blood in general has not been regarded as a valuable sort of blood source, biological source. And we're changing that. Basically, you know, we are investigating and doing a lot of research into what is the diagnostic potential. And what we found is that there is a lot of biomarkers in menstrual blood that actually tells you a lot of things about your health and women's health in general. Some biomarkers, it can be a substitute for a regular blood draw. I think one of the things that we're very excited about is, I'll give you an example, hemoglobin A1C, which is a marker that tells you your average blood sugar. Yeah, I'm very useful for, like, let's say you have diabetes in your family or you are a diabetic woman, that's the marker that we would measure. That's an example. We've also, we're doing fertility hormones and vitamins and minerals and stuff like that. But we are right now in our 510K trial. So as a medical device, we are not on the market yet. Um, we are going, next year, we'll be launching. And the, the sort of the model that we're going for is direct to consumers. Uh, at least initially, that's kind of how we're doing it as a subscription model. So two groups of women um, for the QPAD that we've identified, it's the quantified self kind of woman interested in the wellness and knowing more about herself, tracking her health. And then there's the woman who has a chronic condition that certainly has a need for blood testing. For us, it's all about finalizing our 510K trial. That's very much our focus. We've built the product. We know that it works. We have our manufacturing in place. We want to finish this 510K trial and focus on branding and launch.